and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. So as we discussed in our last video, some concept related with tracing the curve, some terms, what we need to find out. So we will now implement all those things. Okay. So a question is given to you, you need to trace the curve. So as I told you, you need to find out five things, right? So let's begin with symmetry. Can I ask you, what's this, this curve symmetrical about? Which axis? You need to find out the even powers of variable. So x is in odd powers, y is in even. So because even powers of y are there, so this curve is symmetrical about x axis. That's correct. First. Thereafter, you need to find out, secondly, the point, like whether it is passing through origin or not. So for origin, and to find out tangent, what you need to do, firstly check it out, whether it is uh, having, let's say if x is 0, what will be your y? If x is 0, here 0, 0 by 2, eh, y will also be 0. So 0, 0, that means curve is passing through origin, right? Thereafter, for tangent, you need to find out whether this is of cusp type or not type. And for that, what you need to do, put lowest degree term as 0. So your lowest degree is, your lowest degree you can see that your x, right? If you expand it to a y square, x y square, x cube. Your lowest degree, you can see that this is whole term, power of x is y, x is 1 and y is 2. So total degree of this term is 3. This is of 3 degree and this is of 2. So that's why lowest term is 2y, 2a y square. Put it as 0. That means y is also, means tangent is also passing to origin and origin is Okay? Why? Because these are equal and real values. Okay? Then after A is entered. So for A is entered, you know that you need to find out the highest degree and its coefficient. Put its coefficient as 0 and you will get the value. So, you can see here highest degree. So x cube coefficient is 1. How can you put 1 as 0? So there is no asymptot along x, I mean parallel to x axis. Now for y axis you can take y square as common. So coefficient of y square is 2a minus x. Okay. So x is 2a which is parallel to y axis. Right? So, now fourth point. What is your fourth point? Point of intersection, right? So, for point of intersection, first of all, you can see that on putting y as 0, x is 0. So, 0, 0 is your point of intersection, firstly. And secondly, because your, um, your asymptote is 2a, so, if you find out the value of y in terms of x or the value of x in terms of y, what you can get? So, y square will be x cube by 2a minus x, right? So, y will be plus minus root of x cube by 2a minus x. Now, you can write it as x square into x and you can take your x square out as x, right? Now, for region of existence, so for region of existence, you can see what is the value for which it can be or it can not be real. You can see that if x is negative, then it will be an imaginary number, right? So, x should always be greater than 0 
right? Or because it is passing to origin, it can be equal. Okay. Thereafter, you can see in denominator, if x will be less than 2a, if x would be less than 2a, then, or more than 2a, let's say, if it would be more than 2a, let's say 3a, 2a minus 3a minus a, which will make it again imaginary number. So, for that, your x should be greater than 2a. Alright? x should be greater than 2a. Now, let's make the curve. You can, you have found out all these values. Let's make a curve. So, this is your x axis and this is your y. So, first of all, your is in turn. x is equal to 2a. So let's say on x axis, this is your 2a point. And it is parallel to y axis. So, this is x is equal to 2a. You know that curve and is in turn. Is in turn cuts a curve. On at two points, but infinitely at infinite point. Okay, so infinitely away that point is infinitely away. So let's say this is your x is equal to two a. Now your tangent, your origin is a curse. Your origin is a curse. That means your your curve is starting from here. Now you cannot pass it through this because this is a's integer. It will intersect it, but at infinite point. Similarly, because it is, it is, what is it? Symmetrical about x-axis. So you have to make, you have to make as it is downwards as well. Symmetrical about x-axis. Take x -ax, consider x-axis as mirror. So you should have your image, both of the sides. Okay. So this is your graph. How I make it? You can see that it is greater than 0 or equal to 0. This is your curse. And it is less than 2a. x should be less than. I'm sorry about that. Because if it would be more than 2a, then let's say 3a. 2a minus 3a is minus. Which will make it imaginary, right? So it should be less than 2a. So this is your 2a. It should be less than. Okay, so this is your curve. And this type of curve is known as schizoid. What is it called? Schizoid, alright? I hope you understand how to trace the curve. You can do some more questions. It may be a chance that you will get your tangent, like let's say plus minus two different rules. Then it, in that case, you will have some sort of graph like if it is x is equal to 2a, somewhat like this. Okay, or some if it is symmetrical about y axis, it's somewhat like this. So, try to make different graphs and try to trace them up. And if you face any problem, you can uh, comment in the comment box. And if you like this video, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye bye.